Hello and welcome back. Today I'll be showing you how to use interstitials in Flutter. So this has come as a request from somebody and uh, yeah, this is all that it is. Um, there are some steps you will need to do before here. So if we go on to my um, GitHub repo, you will actually need to set up AdMob and also you will need to set up your Az units. But for this one, we'll be using a sample um, the samples so we can head back to main and we can see in our build up gradle you must set the pin SDK version to at least 19 but 29 works best for me and also you will need to add your app ID that you have generated in AdMob I will leave, leave links to um, different videos explaining how exactly you create your app ID and also your ad units so once you've done all that, you can go back here to main.dart and we can actually start implementing the code. If you are also making this app for iOS, you'll need to change your info.plist as well as explained in the documentation. So this video will be a little different. I'll just be explaining exactly how everything works. And yeah, so if we open our app here, we see we have this button, we click on it and it'll take us to this test ad and as you can see here, and once we close it, it'll push us to this second page. And if we go back to the first page again, we'll show in a different ad and we're closed and we we'll go back to the first page. So the first thing we need to do is we also need to add something to our pubspec.yaml, which is the Google mobile ads dependency so that we'll actually be able to implement the code. So back in main.dart, we declare an interstitial ad called my interstitial. And on init, so whenever this page is called, whenever we open the page, we will set our interstitial. We will actually initialize it here. We'll give it an ad unit ID. And so what we'll do is check if the platform's Android. And if it is Android, we'll give it this ad unit ID. And if you're doing um, if you're using your own ad unit ID, you will obviously put that here instead of this. And this is the one for iOS, so if it's not Android, it'll be iOS, and we just put it here. Now, ad requests. Because this is a test ad, we can't actually, well, using ad requests won't work. But what will happen is, for example, if you want your ad to be based about certain things, so keywords will give it a list of strings, so we could say, cars technology and something else and then it will show um ads related to this and we can also see um we have a content url and if we see here it's a url string for a web page whose content matches the app's primary content so this is bring it on an emulator that has a test ID and so that's what you would need to put there I will also put links in the description for how to find that and non personalize this dot non personalize ads so whether to personalize the ads based on the user's behavior but since we are using the default um, test ad we won't be needing that so we can go on here to our listener so this is where all the magic happens so this listens to the different events and here we have an ad closed so every time the ad is closed we will just push a replacement page of second page and we'll dispose of the ad so this is conventional and you should probably do this or else your app will get slower over time and what you need to do is make sure that you just dispose of it and unclosed so that you're not reusing the same ad. And we've also got on ad fail to load, which just prints out an error and also disposes of the ad. So the ad listener also has other functions such as on native ad click, on native ad impression, on ad open, on exit. Um, if and if this is like a rewarded ad, they'll if they have earned their reward, 
then they'll get it and then on up events so but we'll just be covering um, these two here so once we have finally finished initializing the whole interstitial we need to load the ad so we always need to load the ad before we can show it and then now in our UI we call my interstitial show which will automatically show the adverts and yeah so an important thing to note is that you can never um, show an ad twice because it then just comes up with an error so you always need to make sure that once the ad has been showed and it has been closed or there's an error it's disposed of so that is why that is there and it will just push us to the next page and in the next page it's just the same thing but with um, a few iterations so that is how it all works um if you wanted to know more just ask me and i will make a tutorial about any other ads or anything else you want to see but yeah thanks for watching and i will see you around